Hello again, and yet another Tyranid video for you. Uh, yay! This time, this time I'm devoting the video to biomorphs. Biomorphs are now very, very cool. Um, the Nids themselves didn't change that much, but the biomorphs are a totally different animal. Um, I'm just going to list the ones that you should really know well if you're a Tyranid or if you're being beaten by a Tyranid. And um, that would be Acid Blood. It's crazy now. Uh, the important, very important things to know about Acid Blood now is that first it's a strength 5 AP 2 hit. BAM! That hurts. But that's not the most important part. As good as that is, the best part is the acid blood attacks happen at the initi at the initiative step of the wound that caused it. Think about that for a second. It happens at the initiative step of the wound that caused it. Boom. So this means you have a bunch of knots. You think they're just going to be slaughtered for, by some elite character unit of army of your choice. They charge in. They have initiative a million, whatever. They hit you. And what happens? Yes, you laugh. You laugh because even if it's a bunch of witches going off at initiative eight, or something like that, they will all take an acid attack after failing, if they fail an initiative check, at their initiative. And if that kills them before they go down those initial steps, they may be dead before they even get to your attacks. That's how awesome that is. Now, I don't know if Knots could have acid blood right now. I have to go there. Look there. I thought it was. I know... I should double check that. But at the very least, I know uh, a lot of your units can. Um, actually, I was thinking I don't know if Rippers can. That would be awesome too. But either way, it is very, very good. It basically turns any unit with acid attack into um, in, in, into, a, into a melee unit. Uh, this also goes for things like the Pyrovore. Uh, let's see, what else? The other good one is Regeneration is crazy. Regeneration now, a new biomorph, which basically means at the end of every turn that you had a wound from at least the turn before, on a, on a 4 plus, it goes away. On a 4 plus, you gain a wound every turn. And since almost most of the Tyranid army is going to have multiple wounds and with the new way and with sixth edition sixth edition does wound allocation so like if you have a, a unit of nine warriors each one with three wounds that's 27 wounds okay uh wow uh they can't get regeneration but if they, but the, I'm just making a point of how you allocate wounds to a unit now. If you have to go all the way around one 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 one, your unit lasts a very long time. You throw a Tyranid Prime into that unit, who has regenerate. It's going to be very hard to kill him. You combine that with Lookout Sir rules. You are almost never going to be able to shoot down a Tyranid Prime um, without blast weapons. And Toxin Sacks. Toxin Sacks, probably the most important upgrade of Biomorphs in the game. No longer just gives you a strength, a plus one to strength. Toxin Sacks makes your attack poison. This is important because if you look at the poison rule, it's going to say if the strength of your attack, melee attack, which is typically for most nids going to be, uh, for most larger nids like warriors, uh, is going to be strength four, uh, matching space marines, that's the big number to match, uh, matches their toughness, means they re-roll 
their wounds. They re-roll all wounds just for having toxin sacks. And for tougher, for tougher toughness fives, then they still wound on a poison as, the, uh, on a, as if it was the same. So a four up. That's amazing. But even with the small units, even with the smaller units, uh, like the, the, the strength three ones, you're still running up against uh, Imperial Guard or Tau. They're still re-rolling all wounds automatically. Now you ask, why is that important? Why is that so important? Other than the fact that it's awesome that you re-roll wounds. If you give them random claws, rending claws, it gives you that many more chances to roll a six. And that is why it's awesome too. Uh, that's important when you start having warriors uh, with bone swords. Bone swords, which have life leech, which is a basically instant death. And of course, it also makes it thin AP, so you can forget about the, all of the um, feel no pain rolls. Uh, your, your chances, you have hits, and then your misses become chances at another six to make another instant death roll. That's how awesome um, Toxin Sax is now. So use them and use often. The next one is, and, and, uh, is, is the blind, Blinding Venom. This one took a little longer for me to realize, and it pretty much only applies to gargoyles. Um, gargoyles attack has blind and you might think okay that's nice so what but here's what it does it turn a blind allows you to turn all of your melee attacks into a blinding venom attack which basically means this gives a very nice debuffing attack for your gargoyles it flies into a bunch of units sure even if they all die or anything like that even if one of them manages to hit it it's a it's a it's a poison six attack so you always are going to have a chance to do it on a six. Um, and once again, remember, as a poison attack, if the strength of the unit is the same or less, it gets to re-roll. Uh, then of the toughness of the uh, units attacking, it gets to re-roll wounds. If you get a six, you blind the root, you blind the unit. Uh, which is just setting it up. That means next turn or that turn, I believe it's ballistic skill one, weapon skill one setting it up for the next unit that charges in after them. Very, very useful if, you, if you're going for swarming army list. And last but not least, one of the very good ones, yes, the very, very useful ones is the tail attack. Tail attacks. I love the tail attacks. They really make people sweat more and more now because the thing about the tail attacks is it's a completely separate, unmodified melee attack. To say that again, it's a separate attack that is not affected by any special rules, either of your character or the character you're fighting. No special rules. So whatever was uh, lowering initiative, raising initiative, uh, whatever special rules that somebody has, whatever they might have in terms of a special rule, it does not apply to the tail attack. I always use toxin spikes for this, for its uh, two-up poison attack. Uh, once again, for the reroll of wounds and of course for the two-up wounds so that basically means you're really rolling your ones and it also still gives you a chance to turn that into a rending or whatever a six would do for you but remember unmodified that is uh pretty much covering the biomorphs um they're very important very overlooked i think by many people because it's hard for me to imagine that people would not have would not have realized this and gone wow i got an idea but I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy the video and watch the next ones. Thank you.